Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. I'm now going to do a demo with uh, uh, Sumi painting uh, or ink and water painting. The subject matter is uh, grape wine. I have some leftover ink and I added uh, some peach sap glue powder uh, mix so it will come back with uh, the binding as a, you know, to, to bind the particles of the, the suit. To, uh, so it will create some more uh, bodied look. And I'm uh, using a brush, it's called a Bajer brush, uh, which comes with a very bristle strokes, you'll see. And on this uh, uh, mulberry paper, You can see I separated the ink tones, so the dark is behind, the, the light is uh, in front. Uh, kind of, uh, usually I do the back one first and the front with dark. This one is opposite from what normally I would do. Um, then we add uh, some more smaller branches to make uh, the plant more interesting. And you can see the line, um, the curry loops, they not always, you know, the even some part is more uh, dense, some more sparse. Uh, let me show you this one, the tendril. It, you know, instead of all the loops, sometimes you make a opposite turn, you know, like a, turn up instead of down always you know in the same direction. So we make some sharp turns and change directions uh, will make it interesting. So uh, see it again the climbing tendrils. Okay, now I'm using a large wash brush, uh, which is a, a goat hair brush. It's uh, soft and uh, can load plenty of uh, ink or color. So I load all the dark color on the ha uh, first half of the brush and leave the bottom or the heel of the brush uh, light. Um, I would cover some of the vines to make uh, the composition more interesting. The, actually, the, bre the leaves of the grape should be pretty large and like wide. So um, use a large brush if you could. And you can use multiple strokes to complete a leaf. You can vary the ink by adding water to it. You can just add water to the front without blending. So you have the opposite gradation from dark light to, to
too dark sometimes. See? Oops, I got some uh, dripping <laughs> lines. Um, it's accident. Uh, so that's a boo boo. However, uh, I like to introduce a concept known in Chinese uh, painting theory called uh, the uh, dripping line uh, quality. Uh, in Chinese, Olo Hen is like uh, you see on a leaking wall uh, with the dripping lines like this. And the, the, in that uh, kind of uh, uh, art theory, that every stroke should penetrate through the rice paper down to the uh, back of it. So you can see my, my stroke is kind of not to that standard. Some part yes, but some uh, is too quick. You, if you paint too quickly, you lose that kind of uh, dripping line quality. But with this dripping line, you, know, you can see the line penetrate all the way through. So uh, to paint like that, quality, not, not necessarily straight like, like that, but uh, that's the kind of uh, uh, line quality we are inspired by this accident. By imitate, mimic the leaking wall or the dripping line uh, quality, we mean to pursue that kind of uh, uh, power uh, and uh, uh, the depth of the line in your strokes. So you can do slow and firm. Uh, you, you could be a little uh, fuzzy. That can all that is uh, also like antiquity. is one of the line um, quality criterion for a good painting. Okay, uh, way we can continue. To just show you some other ways that you can rescue a painting, maybe. So let me define the leaves with the veins. Even on the dark leaves, I will do the dark veins, darker veins, so you will show after it's mounted. Now I'm going to dot the fruits of the grapes. Um, in a traditional style that we use only ink, we can use dark ink only to dot the fruit. In, you can see I dot the fruit and, um, in various sizes of uh, the dots and some part overlap, some sparse. Be careful not to drip anymore. So I usually paint on the table. You can connect the fruit with a stem. And dot. Try to break this uh, straight line a little bit. A cluster of uh, lighter grapes. And uh, some more leaves.
and some tendril in small dry stroke. You can add uh, more if you like. Um, I'll just leave it. And I'm going to stop right there. Okay, my sign signature. And pull a line to connect the loose fruits. Don't forget to put a dot on the fruit. Okay, let's uh, stop there and uh, hope you have uh, fun watching this. Um, just uh, uh, be open when you have an uh, accident, try to fix it if you can and, uh, uh, and you also learn from the accident that we talked about. So hope that gives you some inspiration to paint your own uh, vine grapes. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.